For this exercise, we'll be working with the customers collection that we created in an earlier section, and we'll be using Studio 3T's Visual Query Builder. In the Studio 3T connection tree, access the Sales Database node and open the Customers Collection by double-clicking it. It will open a Customers Collection tab. On the Customers Collection tab, click the Visual Query Builder link in the upper right-hand corner to launch it. Alternatively, if you're in Tree or Table view, just click and drag any field in your collection and the Visual Query Builder will automatically appear. Our goal this time is to find documents for customers who've traveled to Poland. We'll do so by first going to the Query section of the Query form. In the drop-down list, in the upper left-hand corner, select the Has Array Elements Matching option. Doing so adds an Array drop-down list to the top of the Query section. From this Arrays drop-down list, select the Travel field. If the Travel option is not listed, type the value directly into the text box. Click the plus button in the box at the bottom of the Query section. The form will now expand to include options for defining a search condition. By default, the first drop-down list in the new search condition section shows array element as its value and the operator's drop-down list shows equals as its value. So let's replace array element by typing country. And in the text box below next to string, type Poland. This is to return documents where the customer has visited Poland. Let's see if that's the case. Now click the Visual Query Builder's Run button in the upper right corner. And the query should return one document in the Result tab. If not selected already, display this in Tree View. Right click the underscore ID field and then click Expand Recursively. Notice that the query returned the Maria document as she did indeed travel to Poland. Go to the Query Code tab and view the Mongo Shell code. As you can see, Studio 3T uses the LM match operator even though you defined only one search condition. Go to the IntelliShell tab, which should still be open from the previous exercise, and replace the existing code with the following find statement. This deletes the three documents that you added to the customer's collection at the beginning of the first exercise and will return the customer's collection back to its original state. Click the Run Entire Script button. The statement should return a message indicating that the documents have been deleted. Close the IntelliShell tab. If prompted to save your changes, click No, Discard Changes. Close Studio 3D.